So you've been looking into theming your iPad or iOS device? You've come to the right place. An app on Cydia called Dreamboard lets you change and theme your device how you want it. And it's much more powerful than the old winter board that we used to use on the phones on old jailbreaks. So today i got a whole bunch of different themes for you. We're going to check them out and give them a little bit of review. The first one we have is called Bookshelf. Bookshelf, when we open it up, it's going to give us a lot of different tutorials here. We're just going to skip that, go right on into it. You see we have a calendar down in the bottom right. All of our uh, magazines and headings are up top that we have on our iPad. And if we go over here, we can see all of our uh, apps that we have. Now, I click up here, and there's a ton of apps. All of our apps, a lot of them you'll see with duplicates. No worries, though. These are fully customizable. You can mix and match as much as you like. The next theme I have for you guys is one of my favorite themes for Dreamboard. Boxer HD with Retina Display incorporates the best of everything the iPad has to offer. It gives you Safari, YouTube, Mail, Photos, even the App Store, all in big icons with all of your other icons in an organized fashion just like you normally would be, but smaller and more condensed. It's very easy to get used to, as well as has a Facebook integration to allow you to keep in touch with your friends on the go. Now don't worry, just like the previous app, this these icons are fully customizable. We'll go ahead and show you here. Picking the icon I want to edit in the edit mode, I can go through and pick any app or tweak that I have on my iPad. So edit away and make this theme customized for your own personal use. Switching to landscape mode, we'll get the Honeypad Pro Retina Display. Now this theme looks great, but it's a lot like an Android tablet. So if you're a fan of the iPad and iOS devices, I'd stick away from this one. I didn't quite like this one that much. It was a little hard to get around, but if you're coming from an Android system, this might be the theme for you. Sticking with the themes that I do not like, this Midnight version 1, blue. I don't, it's a bluish theme. It looks okay. It has some widgets on it. It's more like a, this looks like my dashboard on my Mac. I, I really don't like it that much. It has the calendar, calculator, whatever. It wasn't retina display either, so it kind of looked a little weird. Now, my final app is a Windows-based theme. I'm a Mac person myself, but this is a really cool app. They literally took what looks like Windows 7 and made it into a iOS theme. So everything has the start menu, your documents are in its area, pictures, videos, my computer opens up your whole kind of thing. You can go to system preferences as your settings bar. And there's also lots of other things that it, it's incorporated to look like a Windows computer. So I suggest checking out all the different themes yourself. Go ahead and download them. The, some of them cost money, some of them are free. So go ahead and download a whole bunch of them, check them out, and uh, let me know what you guys think. See you.